Hello everybody, my name is Hillbill and welcome back to my channel Vagabum, where we discuss motorcycles, camping, travel, and adventure. In today's video, we're going to go from Tucson, Arizona, up to Sedona, then along America's historic Route 66. We're going to Las Vegas, we're going to Death Valley, we're going to ghost towns, we're going to secret hot springs in the middle of the desert. If you guys like adventure, you are in the right place. By the way, a lot of people have been asking me what kind of gear and equipment I use. So below, I'll include a few Amazon links of the essentials you need to be on the road. And just to be clear, yes, this is my Amazon affiliate link. It doesn't cost you an extra cent for the products, but it does help me put fuel in my gas tank. So thank you guys. It's the 4th of July. It's right about noon. I've been house sitting at my friend Sophia's place for a few days. I know what you're thinking. Hillbill, it seems like you house sit more than you ride. Listen, if you have a house and you need somebody to come there and, and wash it for you, I am your guy, all right? <laughs> I have plenty of time. All right, we're in uh, Tucson. We just made the cycle skis and ATV and this is for me and the boys, say la vie. Yeah, clever, I know. Fellas, <laughs> we'll see you down the road next year. Stay tuned. So it's the next day. I'm no longer crying like a little baby because of the heat. I'm over, I'm better now, I'm okay. I'm at a really cool, uh, restaurant and bar called the road runner very awesome place got a really cool live band playing their blt was out of this world it's like two pounds onion rings amazing highly recommend this place road runner saloon i don't know it's just somewhere north of phoenix on the 17 look it up <laughs> See you guys Catch a break. Look at all these bikes. It's a great place. As my buddy DJ says, look, look at all the kids leaving the toys on the floor. <laughs> if you like beers, tacos, bars, and bikes, this is your place. It's three o'clock. I'm leaving Sedona. I'm heading up to Flagstaff, Arizona at the Museum Club there. It's a really cool restaurant and bar, and they're having live music. And she said she can give me a free ticket tonight, and I love free. You could have gone anywhere, been. Good morning, guys. So it's almost six o'clock in the morning. I'm packing up, getting out of here. I stayed at a KOA last night. I'm in downtown Williams, Arizona, the gateway to the Grand Canyon. If you're sleeping near a town, pop into a coffee shop in the morning. You get free Wi-Fi, you can do some editing, and uh, handle your morning ablutions. Yeah, I said ablutions. I meant it, too. <laughs> Behind me is the Sultana Bar on historic Route 66. The bar was built in 1912, 14 years before the highway existed. The Desperados built tunnels under this town, and there used to be an opium den downstairs in like kind of a tunnel basement. And then during Prohibition, the bootleggers were using it. It's a really cool place, and yes, you can go in the tunnel, you can check out the old opium den. It's a really awesome place. The opium den part is called the Sultana Theater, I think. Hey guys, quick stop. I'm in front of uh, Delgadillo's snow cap roadside uh, hamburger stand. The guy built it out of scrap lumber. It's pretty cool. Their specialties are a cheeseburger with cheese and the dead chicken. Yum, yum. Well, I made it to the town of Chloride. It's a pretty trippy little mining town. Not that much to see, just a general store. This gas station is pretty cool though. Well, here we are at the Hoover Dam. I don't need to tell you guys anything about it because you guys have already seen it. You guys already know about it. So, yeah, I'm just here. It's about 104 asshole degrees out right now. Again, disrespectful sun. What's up everyone? So I made it to Las Vegas. Everybody knows if you're a biker and you go to Las Vegas, you have to go to Hogs and Heifers. It's a staple, you have to get in there. A 
All right, guys, I'm heading out of Vegas. Destroyed my liver. And now I'm gonna go right through Death Valley. Super hungover. Don't do what I do. <laughs> So I'm at the Alien Cat House Brothel. It's in the middle of Nevada, middle of the desert, and I've heard the hand jobs are out of this world. Can't confirm. I'm out here at the Angels Ladies Brothel. I gotta tell you, way better hand jobs from the aliens than the angels. <laughs> they claim this is the most haunted place in all of Nevada. How's it going, everyone? I'm here with Sylvia. She's the uh, barkeep at the the Santa Fe Saloon in Goldfield. How long have you worked here? How on and off for 45 years. That's quite a while. I bet you got some wild stories. Can you tell me one? Oh, we got ghosts. <laughs> I bet you we do. We have a man in black that walks by our window every night. A regular night. old Johnny Cash, I guess. Uh, White Earp. <laughs> was White Earp here? <laughs> yes, he was. Is that right? He was sheriff of the town at one time. Is that right? Yeah. Guys, this place is fantastic. Come in and see Sylvia. The bar is a true Western classic. So I got some more information on this place, the Santa Fe Club. It's the oldest continuously operated saloon in the state of Nevada. It was opened in 1905. They've been slinging drinks out of this place for 100, what's that, 17 years? Quick math right there. This place is awesome. There are Joshua trees in the front yard. There's like old like Model A parked right there. Looks like it still runs. Right, this place is really cool. And there are people inside, awesome people inside. All right, guys, so I just made it to the hot springs and you guys know I've been doing this for a while and I know what I'm doing, but we all still make mistakes. I forget to get water. So I met Vinny over here. So what's up, Van? What's up, fellas? And this is Matt. Hello. Dude, came to the rescue, gave me uh, waters, and more importantly than just water, Bush latte. they gave me a step two. I don't have shelter set up. We're gonna jump straight to step two. It's not a new thing. Cheers, guys. These pools range between 102 and 105 degrees. Hop in the hot spring and watch the sunset. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm hanging on a hot spring. I got a little flashlight shining on me so I can see you. So you can see me. Which way does this camera work? <laughs> uh, one thing about hot springs, they're always piping hot water in, right? What you guys might not know is when the water gets too hot, you can take the pipe, they're always flexible, and just push it off. And then when the water gets so cold, dump them right back in. Almost every hot spring is like that. Or they'll have a bucket if it's along a river. And then you can uh, just grab like five gallons of cold water and dump it in your hot spring. This water is about 100, 103. It's perfect. If you guys want to know where this hot spring is, leave a comment down below. All right, guys, I'm trying to sleep. And there are all these burrows, these wild donkeys outside of my camp. I guess they're probably in my camp. They're so loud. I'm gonna go outside so I can catch them on video for you guys. Where the hell are they? 